talking to you tonight about two of John Wesley's sermons, The Almost Christian and The New Birth. With the Almost Christian sermon, I was struck by the difference in cultural context from 1740-ish when the sermon was preached at Oxford compared to now, um, 2016, when um, the church is not as obviously the center of the community. In the Almost Christian, John Wesley is comparing um, two scenarios, the almost or nominal Christian with the altogether Christian who would be the truly faithful disciple. Uh, as John Wesley describes the almost Christian, he uh, uh, talks about going through the motions. The almost Christian is doing all of the right things, um, clothing the naked, feeding the hungry, avoiding uh, gossip, uh, being honest, uh, loving service and justice. But um, at times that can be uh, out of a fear of God's wrath rather than a desire to please God. Um, the almost Christian, nominal Christianity uh, is simply going through the motions. Um, the Christian, on the other hand, has pure motives. This uh, disciple, this faithful person, is striving to live life in response to the overwhelming love and grace available from God. Um, the reason that I brought up in the beginning that the, the difference in cultural context struck me is because it seems like so often now the message that we hear, um, maybe in church, maybe on a blog, maybe uh, through any other uh, way that we uh, interact with uh, teachers of theology in our lives today. But the main message often is what we need to do uh, to live faithfully. Um, as far as being the almost Christian, they were still going through the right motions, but we have fallen short of even that um, so much today. So it was interesting to um, read the sermon and think of the fact that it stepped on so many people's toes at Oxford when, uh, when John Wesley preached to the Anglicans about all of the ways they were falling short of our call to follow Christ. Um, the sermon ended with um, some great motivation and encouragement for the journey, reminding us um, why and how to become altogether Christians. This is an attainable goal out of reach. It is our call uh, to live into that. And then 20 years later or so, uh, John Wesley preached the new birth, which was, um, from what I understand from the commentary in my handy anthology of John Wesley, Wesley's sermons, uh, this uh, was an urgent message that John Wesley uh, shared uh, often about the importance of being born again. And that phrase in our context today has a, a negative connotation because of the misuse over the years. But um, the idea that um, we are changed because of um, God at work in us, the idea that... Uh, we are separated from God, that um, original sin 
made that happen for all of humanity acknowledges that we all need to be born again. Um, Adam uh, lost the knowledge and the love of God. Um, as John Wesley tells us, that that led to him being unholy and unhappy. Uh, the new birth, being born again um, in Christ, changes us. Um, and that is because of the work being done in us um, through God, because of God, by God. Uh, this new birth is a first step, a necessary and important first step toward holiness and happiness to counteract uh, the fall from grace that uh, separated Adam from God. Uh, and by virtue of our lineage, all of the rest of us. Um, I didn't think that the explanation of the difference between new birth and baptism was especially uh, thorough or clear. Uh, I will have to learn more about that because I do understand that um, baptism is God, our signifying God at work in us, but I didn't quite understand the difference between infant baptism and that of people in their riper years. Um, John Wesley's sermons quote a lot of scripture. Uh, I appreciated in my anthology that it was uh, marked with quotes. Uh, and I think one of the reasons that that's so important is because so many times other words fall short. And we can turn to scripture and not always say it in a better way. Uh, that also reminds us and lets uh, us know how deep in the word John Wesley was. He, he knew scripture. He read scripture. Uh, and he used scripture to communicate. And we can learn from that about him. Thank you.